it's your man's going back for another video and today we got y'all with another pop the balloon episode 15 i think this is like season two season i don't know but it, episode 15 pop the balloon let's go ahead and see if uh we're gonna have somebody who's gonna crash out on here hopefully we do because that'd be the funniest thing Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money on Amazon is not with physical products. It's Amazon's other company, Audible. Audible pays me eight to $10,000 every single month in passive income, and I'm not the only one. People like Katrina and Carla, Elena, Renee, all making thousands of dollars a month in passive income using the same system. Just this past month, I reached $8,000 in revenue, and I'm on track to reach $10,000 in revenue this month. I've been able to go from zero to 22K in seven months. And of course, uh, this completely changed my life. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. So we have got a group of single men waiting to come out here and meet y'all. So when they come around this corner, they'll come out one by one. If you're feeling him, if he's your type, he checks off all of your check boxes. Do not pop your balloon. However, you know, if there's something he says, or if you're like, oh, red flag, or you know, you just really can't see yourself dating this guy, go ahead and pop your balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. How you doing, Alex? Oh, this good. is How are you? This <laughs> short dude. My name is this Brian. Short dude is Brian, bad. how old are you? I'm forty. Forty and I'll be forty-one in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for a major cool. airline. All right. So now. I flip fixed planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, uh, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun. Um, mm. I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country, country guy. Okay. Mm. I'm still city, but you know I like to do country things. Gotcha. Uh, I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. Okay. I like to read. I want to know about things that I don't know. Okay. Um, I like to go lounges. Right. I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really. Um, have a good time. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Now, what are some things that you're looking for in a woman? Transparency, mm. for sure. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Uh, loyalty, that, that, that really, um, for men, that's a big thing, loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying and having a good time that you loyalty and you faithful mm. to a man like me. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto, so I understand that, you know, we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, is really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers, but as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay, all right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right, let's a lot start of right balloons. on over here. I felt like they feel Thank like he talked too much. Because I feel like I'm that, too. Mrs. I feel like Parker, he talked a lot. Okay. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. 
and you said you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah, shout out to Makeup Queen, Mrs. <laughs> Parker. <laughs> All right, and Mrs., why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker, so you have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, okay. right? I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? So nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me. It's not what that question means. Okay. So he, that's why he's I said I don't have a any deal breakers talking. because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know, you're. Balloon. Um, I'm a free spirited woman. So having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to. So that's why I pop my balloon. What? What do you mean check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't just subscribe to. So that's why I pop my balloon. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Yeah. Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next Oh, my God. He crashed it now. He crashed. <laughs> he could look at the lady. Look at this lady. Yo, I skipped. I think I, yo, it's just lucky that I skipped to this point. He probably crashed out with other people, but it's just, oh my God, he crashing out on the shorty right here. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. No. No? Okay. Okay. That's crazy. He ain't getting no, he ain't getting no matches, did he? I'm not about to. He crashing out. Yeah, he crashed out. He ain't get no mess. And, and to me, he just kept saying, I'm from the no, ghetto. No, I'm this qualifies a top-tier woman from getting a top-tier woman. That's exactly man. right. Why? Because there's billions of women on this planet. Okay. Right. One's popped. No problem. He crashed out on like, another shorty? To move from a different man? Mm -hmm. that I, don't, I don't even care. I don't even, I don't even want to. Thank I don't even want to listen to it. Honestly, I don't. Right, it, it, I felt like it got real nasty. Single guy. I felt like it got real nasty. I don't even want to watch that. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Josh. I'm 37. I'm a lot. I'm a. And Josh, what do you do? I'm gonna go back I at the end. Invest in stocks, and uh, I'm getting into content creation. Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I play a lot of basketball, uh, poker. Mm. You know, things like that. That's, okay. That's mainly what I do. Nice. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I don't, I don't too much care for s people that smoke, like okay. especially cigarettes and things like that. So, somebody that likes to be in the gym, mm -hmm. you know, like an active woman, because I'm active myself. Um, somebody that's loyal, mm -hmm. humble. Okay. Like those are the main things. Got it. Now, what are yeah. some of your deal breakers? Uh, well, the smoking for sure. Mm. <laughs> um. That's the biggest thing. Um, a liar. Mm. I don't care for a liar, but those okay. are the main two. All right, got it. Mm. All right, so Josh. We Damn, no pop balloon. balloons. So you're doing hold pretty on. well. And hold so on. what that hold means on, is I'm on, actually going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's, um, let's take a look at this. these lines of ladies, right? Not a single lady has popped their balloon yet. Whatever reason, that's cool. That Hey, I'll buy a seat. Shorty right here look like a grandma. She she like 58. Shorty right here. Oh man, that cranium. That's mm. they all honestly look like older women. They all honestly look like older women. For sure, like 
35 and up for sure. Somebody that's loyal, mm-hmm. humble. Okay. Like a, okay, let me get back. A liar. All right, so Josh, we don't have no any pop balloons, balloons, so you're doing pretty well. And so what that means really is I'm well. actually going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So there are quite a few ladies here. So for the first round, everyone always says, oh, my God, it's so tough. But, yeah, I'm going to have you <laughs> pop <laughs> three balloons, kind of just based off of what you're seeing, who doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it may be. So let me hand you this. And go ahead and pop those three, and then I'll go ahead um, and ask you why we ended up popping them after. Okay. Jeff, okay, three. Uh, yes, sir. Three balloons. Let's see. Oh, one more, y'all. Okay, two more. And one more. Damn, right next okay. to each other. All right mm-hmm. next to each other. Hold on.
let's start over here. And so why, Mrs. Okay, Mrs. Why did your balloon unpop? I was trying to like be patient. You're swagged out. I love your drip. I love the turtle necklace. Thank um, you. just give you a chance. I'm really not into bald heads, <laughs> so I was just trying to like not pop before you came out and just hear you out. Why? Why? Uh, so he's not your usual type. <laughs> Again, like you, you look good. It's just the bald. No, like I'm just trying to, you know, got it. Really find love and like <laughs> step outside of my box. So you know, like for bald head, the less hair you have, the more head you get. Hey, if it works for you, so <laughs> I ain't shaving my head. I don't have no hair. Okay, Jokes. <laughs> Reggie, why did you end up popping her balloon? <laughs> um. Gorgeous, beautiful. Um, I don't know why she had to say that. Just from because like some of the answers are like a that had nothing to do with like why yeah. you kept the balloon. Okay. You just right. I mean. Okay. And let's go to the other one. You ended up popping. Okay, and why did you have your balloon unpop for Reggie? Um, when he came out, I felt like it was confident. I love the way he's dressed. Yeah, and I just wanted to hear more what he had to say in his energy. And Reggie, why did you end up popping her balloon? Yeah, same thing. I wish I could have got like a more meat to the bone question, but same type of thing. I kind of like the, some of the little the other answers, well put together. Love the purple, so yeah. Thank you. Nice. You laid out the other answers better. Mm, nice way. Okay. That's a nice way of saying yeah, I'm not attracted to you. <laughs> All right. No, you had one brewing. Yeah, I had a brewing. Yeah, I had okay. one brewing. So my question is this: um, How do you feel about um, your partner leading in a relationship? And in your opinion, um, what is the kind of thin line between, oh, this is a man that can lead, or this guy's just controlling? Like, what is your kind of difference for that? Okay. Start over here. I'm Chanel, 42. Um, my limitations, what you're saying on maybe feeling that I'm being controlled in my relationship Versus or that a man is leading? Correct. Um, I come from a traditional background. Gender roles is very important. Um, so respecting the man in the household whether we agree or disagree, um, that's something that I've raised around. Um, public um, respect is very important that I've been raised under, so I would never have a disagreement with you in public. Um, as far as controlling, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Um, if you're saying that you need to check my phone and so you need so to like... Yeah, so, so well, I'm not saying that. I'm asking you what it's <laughs> like. So I'm asking, um, how do you feel about a man leading in a relationship? And then I'm oh. asking you, in your opinion, what is the thin line between, oh, this is a guy who can lead versus, oh, no, this guy is just controlling? I just love a man that can make a decision, you know, make a decision and go with it. I'm a Capricorn, so um, I'm a realist. So if I see that you can't make a decision, then you can't lead. And then eventually I'll step in and make that decision. And then you might feel like that I'm overstepping you. So it's just more of a man um, knowing what he wants. I'll follow, you know what I'm saying? And if I see you got it, you know, I'll wait till you get there. But if you just, if you're too far off with leading, especially someone that has businesses, um, very attractive, um, get attention, there are some things that a, a certain type of man for me, um, they have to be a certain type of way. And they have to be able to stand in front of a lot of challenges with having an attractive woman and all of the assets that come along with it. So that you can stand there with your, you know, your head high. You remind me so much of my husband, I'm, my ex-husband. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love the gr the bald head. I, my family, my brother is. You probably have every Jordan that ever came out. You did very well putting it together. So thank you. I'm just looking at you. That's all. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. She <laughs> trying to get that. She trying to snatch it up. And Adrian to answer his question. That's crazy. Davinia, I'm 41. Um, the answer to your question, I actually desire a man that can lead, a man that can make sound decisions, a man with a plan, um, but a man that also considers my needs, my wants, my desires, and my happiness. So if you're leading and you're not considering my feelings or what makes me happy or what I desire, then I think that that can become a little controlling. Um, like if I want to go out or if I want to go with these friends and you're like, you know, well, no, you know, if we have plans, 